K1 OIK, kilowatt one Oscar India kilowatt. Uh, kilowatt one Oscar India kilowatt K one O I K. And you're five seven in Massachusetts. Five seven in Massachusetts. Go ahead. Oh, sorry. My name is Bert. Bravo uniform Romeo Tango. Uh, Bert is my name. Go ahead. Bye bye. And this is a Swan 240. This was, I don't think if this is the actual same one, but this is a Swan 240. And I had this rig. I bought it in the 19, not this model. I don't think this exact one. I bought this model in 1964, January of 1964. Brought it back to Keesler Air Force Base with me and used it back there. Then came up to Cape Cod and used it at Otis Air Force Base. And uh, then went to Minnesota and used it in Minnesota, my Swan 240. And then eventually used it in Cotsview, Alaska. And then bringing it back to Forestdale, Massachusetts. I owned it for 23 years. And uh, does it have a power supply? Uh, I would prefer not to sell it with the power supply because I'd like to use it with, uh, with other rigs. And the way this thing uh, works, um, you have to tune up the receipt. You peak the receive uh, first using the PA load and the exciter. So I'm going to tune off frequency here, way off frequency. And uh, so, well, let me get, see if I get on a station here. So I could. You see, you can peak, you peak it up here, and that's, and then you're pretty much tuned up. You're pretty much uh, tuned up, and it doesn't operate on 10 meters because it's only a tri-band rig. It's only a tri-band rig, so it doesn't operate uh, on those other bands. And uh, let's see, I will load it up on. Let me change the antenna. And uh, I'll load it up on 40 meters. It won't load up on 75 very well, but I'll load it up on 40. So let's go to 40 meters. And let me find a station to peak it on. Okay. okay. So I've kind of peaked it up there. And um, I'm going to I'm going to put it on. I'm going to get it off frequency here so I can tune it up. And you look for 160 mils on tune, 160 mils on tune. And so I need to dip the final way up too too high. Okay, and then you tune it up like that, and you have about two. You do tune it up for 160 mils, and then um, it depends on how how you tuned up whether how much uh, audio you get out of the microphone. I don't know if we're gonna. Hello, hello, hello. One, two, three, four, and you can see you do get some audio out of the microphone, and uh, it's uh, when I got it, it didn't work. Uh, but what happens if it's not used for a while the connectors get ox oxidized and I spent uh, a bit of time cleaning off the oxidation on the connectors in the back and uh, Got it to work. I'll show I can't really load it up on 75 because my antenna SWR is 5 to 1, but I'll show you that it does work on 75 so If there are any signals on 75 today, I don't know if there's a Yeah, I don't hear anybody. It's... So I'm... As you can see, I picked up the noise. And apparently you can use it on AM. 
Um, but you have to, what you do is you insert about 60 watts of carrier. Uh, you insert about 60 watts of carrier and, and then that's what you get. So, uh, that's, uh, that's the, that's the setup here on 75 meters. Um, and not too many signals out on 75. You really can't use it on CW. That's an AM station. See if we can receive them. And there he is on uh, on AM. You don't really hear, hear it too well on AM. So I'm going to put it back. I don't see if we can hear any CWs. I don't think you're going to hear it. I don't. I don't think I ever use mine on CW. Uh, it will use it well it does go down so it goes down as low as 3650 so you don't have a lot of CW usage I did use mine on CW uh, when I had it but uh, you don't have a monitor uh, on it but it puts out uh, it's 240 watts input uh, and I would guess if it's about 60% efficient whatever 60% times 240 is would be about uh, about 150 watts I'm guessing I'm just guessing. So that's a, that's a Swan, Swan 240.